you're here with how many new pieces? So uh, for SIHH 2012, uh, Global Forcey has uh, we're delighted to be able to show what we recently uh, launched, uh, the GMT timepiece. Uh, so for the first time, uh, for many people, the, it would be possible to see uh, really firsthand uh, this new uh, creation. Um, and then we have uh, a brand new model, which is the 24-second tourbillon contemporary. That's, uh, Creation of the, uh, of the of our third invention, 24 second tourbillon, uh, but with a round case which we haven't had before. We had uh, asymmetrical uh, case uh, shape and design for this timepiece before. So this is a, a timepiece in a unique edition. Only 33 pieces will be made in a platinum case, and the movement with a uh, titanium movement with a royal blue oxidized finish which gives a lot of depth it's a very interesting piece difficult to photograph but uh, it's a piece which has already had a, a lot of uh, strong interest the last the couple of days. The entire movement is titanium? Yeah the, the main plates and bridges and then on the movement side we have of course uh, some uh, more uh, watchmaking architecture where we're showcasing our uh, love and passion for traditional hand finishing with a frosted nickel palladium finished bridge uh, with our beveling and uh, all of the details uh, as usual. Okay. And then we have uh, the uh, the third piece we have is the quadruple tourbillon secret. Again, this is a unique edition. There will only be eight uh, pieces in platinum case and eight in a red gold case. And this uh, quadruple tourbillon secret, well, the name gives away a little bit. The it's a piece with a full dial. So uh, you just have the uh, sub-dials which give a suggestion that there's more complication behind, a symmetrical case uh, form, and on the movement side then you have the whole complication which is laid out and showcased uh, for the, uh, for the uh, collector to be able to enjoy or to share as he, uh, as he wishes. Very exciting. Okay. Thank you. So what are you going to show us here? So we can, uh, well I have, uh, I've just got a, already an image uh, of the uh, iPad image, uh, the GMT here. So what's very unusual about our GMT timepiece from Global Force is the, uh, the large globe that we have in three dimensions. It's a 13 millimeter diameter, in titanium for the lightness. We have the uh, view from the North Pole of the globe and it rotates in real time. So one rotation anti-clockwise simulating the, the rotation uh, of the Earth if we were in space above the North Pole. Uh, and uh, this enables us to have a, a good view, uh, instant view of uh, time, day and night, across different continents of the world. And thanks to our asymmetrical case, we have a, a sapphire lateral window which gives us a view right down beyond the equator down to the southern hemisphere uh, Australia, South America, South Africa as well. So this is a, a key element here in terms of uh, in terms of the creation. Uh, of course, uh, a main hour and minute dial here with a local time. Come back to that in a moment. Small seconds feature, power reserve, and of course the uh, second time zone GMT, what we call as watchmakers, GMT display, operated by the pusher at 10 o'clock. What uh, completes the rather philosophical approach to the uh, globe is on the back of the timepiece. And here we have, a, again, a rotating disc this time, divided into 24 key time zones. And this enables us to quickly set the uh, timepiece very easily. Uh, it's linked to the globe and set up in our workshop so that the, uh, the user, the, the collector, only has a very, very simple three steps to set the timepiece. And this way, he then when he's going to travel, he can read off straight away his destination uh, time zone uh, so that he can set up before he leaves home with uh, his arrival time when he's going to get to his destination. And it has an added advantage. You'll see the uh, light background and the dark background here. The different uh, cities and regions around the world with, with uh, daylight saving time, a light background, and those with the dark background uh, without daylight saving time. So it's an interesting referential um, which uh, we've experienced traveling ourselves that uh, is often a little bit confusing. We're going east or west, we add, take away, you know, it's always a little bit of a moment of confusion. 
and so uh, on our GMT timepiece to be able to showcase this uh, and for the daylight saving time we're able to read in the center ring uh, plus one hour for those uh, daylight, save, uh, daylight saving time uh, regions. How long did it take you to develop this timepiece? Well, so from the initial idea, the GMT has taken three years to, to get up and running. Um, a key element which was complex in its own way is the, is the globe itself. You know, we've got three quarters of a, a sphere in the timepiece here, and the, uh, the continents are all engraved. So to get the quality and finish and definition that we were looking for, uh, this alone took uh, 18 months to, to perfect uh, the globe till we were really satisfied with the, the final result. Wonderful. And you've got a project going with Mr. Dufour? Yes, we have. We have uh, we're very pleased to be able to uh, unveil at the beginning of a, a project called Naissance du Monde, that's uh, the, French, uh, the French name. Uh, and uh, with Philippe Dufour, it's something that we had already felt very keenly uh, for more than five years now, was that there's been, uh, there is a continuing uh, uh, disappearance of skills and traditional watchmaking techniques and know-how. And uh, with Philippe, uh, Robert, uh, Grobel and myself, uh, we felt that it, you know, we had to do something. And so it's something which uh, today with Grobel 4C we have uh, decided to, to take the step forward and to, to really uh, put energy into this project. It's going to take three to four years. And Naissance du Montre is a project to safeguard and uh, preserve traditional watchmaking know-how and techniques. And by doing this, we have uh, found a, uh, a candidate, uh, a French uh, watchmaker called Michel Boulanger, who has been a teacher in the watchmaking school at Paris. And he's quit this, uh, taken a sabbatical or quit this job to, uh, to come and uh, work uh, in collaboration with Philippe and with ourselves and to create from A to Z by uniquely traditional handmade finish and finishing techniques a complete timepiece in a very, very small number of uh, examples. So this is, uh, this is something and uh, with our small, uh, we have a small uh, demonstration which Philippe and Michel are doing this week. They're using the uh, traditional Swiss mandrel uh, lathe to uh, to show hand turning uh, and they're doing some small uh, demonstration operation there of uh, some of the work in progress which will be coming along. It's going to be a project which is going to be documented and also we are hoping to be able to uh, uh, set it up around the world periodically during the uh, period of the next three to four years as the project evolves and moves forward and to really uh, give a platform uh, and a voice to uh, to this concern for for this disappearance of uh, techniques. You know, as the as the watch industry has become more industrial and more commercial over the last few decades, uh, this is a natural process somehow. But for us as watchmakers, uh, our passion has enabled us to to do what we do today with Global Forcey. And for Philippe Dufour, he's already uh, a shining light and a beacon. And uh, while Philippe is uh, still in excellent health. It's something which is uh, of paramount importance to us to, to give this, uh, uh, this project uh, really a, a solid base and uh, the possibility to, to really uh, safeguard this, this know-how for the future. That's wonderful. Okay. Thank you very much.